let's review this particular problem which is based on the concept of e2 elimination and here what we have is this cyclohexyl chloride compound which is undergoing reaction with sodium ethoxide and we know one of the primary condition for e2 elimination is that both the eliminating group must be antiperiplanar to each other so in this case it is the chloro and the hydrogen they must be antiperiplanar to each other however if we look at the compound the chloro isopropyl group and methyl they, they are, are at the equ equatorial position which is the stable conformer however we know that there is an equilibration between the stable and the less stable conformer and it is the less stable conformer which has the right uh, right uh, alignment of eliminating group which is hydrogen and chloro so as soon as this particular conformer forms the ethoxide attacks the hydrogen this bond comes here the chloro leaves so the only compound that can form is this particular compound which in our case is option number a if we look at this uh, this this particular hydrogen this is present at equatorial position so it is not possible for the ethoxide to attack that so only and only compound a is formed under these conditions.